Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss about navigational tree configuration as part of UI series in Pega. Let's get started with the topic. So we have different kinds of UI structural elements and we may get requirement to display some baseless uh, property in this type of navigation where you click plus you can see me and you can see this uh, icon and if you get an uh, requirement like we have to show some person folder like that suppose for example if you take an organizational structure where we have ceo cfo cvo cto and you want to display it in the ui how do you achieve it in pega for that uh, i'm going with the sections and in sections we have something called as navigation tree which is available under structural navigational tree you can click on this and you can see this and here we have some settings open these settings and here so i am giving source as property so i have already data structure in the same lines so for example i have a this one employee details in this employee details i have three properties mainly designation employee name and employee number and this uh, particular class i have defined in this page list property you can see this so this page list property holds uh, everything that we need to configure this is also one navigation free concept only so on our employee details you can see designation employee name and employee name but now i have gone to my section and i'm giving that uh, list property and if you want to give some summary for your tree structure you can give this and if you want to load uh, some data before uh, displaying it suppose now i'm showing editable navigation tree suppose you got a requirement like a read only navigation tree so you would be required to load some data to your pages property so for that you can use this default load uh, activity and these are visibility conditions like when this uh, particular tree should be visible Suppose if this page list property doesn't have any data, then you don't want to display. You can give some with some conditions. This is visibility, uh, row visibility, and this is a row refresh. And these are like uh, other concepts like page nation. Suppose if you have no number of records on your page list, you can use this. And now for our context, I'm going for operations, inline, and here inline edit mode is click row to edit. And this is presentations. So I want to display a persona like this. That's why I have given uh, this. If you want to change, you can click on the settings and you can change. I will show you in the later part of the video. Now I'm submitting the case. Now after this configuration, I'm going here. I'm giving this uh, value. This is label name for this particular property. So this particular uh, employee name is uh, Auto populated from this employee details page list because the navigation tree sources that page list. So I'm giving this employee name, click submit, and here I am dragging one uh, data capture text input over here. After that, I'm going to create a case. See here, first you can see over here. Now you can see add item and you can give CEO. Next, add item, CEO. Suppose if you want to add a child, click on add child. CTO. In this way, you can configure this and you can add uh, how many ever childs or uh, new items you want. And you can click on this minus symbol. And if you want to delete this, you can click on this delete. Okay. In this way, you can represent uh, data in navigation tree. And this is the icon that I have shown you. Uh, now, if you want to change that, go to navigation tree, presentation, settings. Suppose uh, this is personal, right? Now, if I give some person. If you want to use this one example, give this, click OK, give quotations, save, 
Now I'm creating a new case. You can see icon is changed. So in this way, you can configure a navigation tree. Try with non-editable navigation tree by loading uh, data before launch of our section and post your comments on this video. At that time, this row rating should be null because already this data would be presented uh, in this page list. This is the tip I can give you. Hope you have understood a new concept in UI series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.